Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we're back in Minecraft! And if you missed the stream, um, pretty much all it was was starting the new base. And, uh, all we've done since we started the new base was make a farm and tunnel our way underground for the new base. So, I know I've done, like, three or four part ones because things always keep happening to my saves. So, uh, yeah. So today is just gonna be some base beautification. I'm gonna try and build a super smelter, I guess is what they're called. Uh, they require redstone tracks and stuff. And then I'd really like to start working on maybe trying to figure out where we're gonna put villagers and stuff and just kind of try and figure out this base. So, I'm gonna go down into the mine. Actually, let's go see where I would like to put the super smelter because I think it's 17 18 19 20 it's like 20 blocks long depending on how many furnaces you do so it's 20 blocks long or so so we have to find a place to put it this is going to be ground floor level for the little like dock area that we have in here oh yeah I, I expanded the dock a little bit and I built this little smoke tower now thinking about it, we've got the smoke tower there. It'd be kind of cool to have the super smelter like right here. Kind of look like the smoke is coming out of the smelter. Raven left her sea pickles right here. We're just going to move those out of the way. And we're just going to put them over here where they'll be nice and safe. There we go. And we're going to move these beds out of the way. Put those over here where they'll be nice and safe. Because right now we have an auto smelter. And, uh... It's my first time kind of dealing with that kind of stuff, so I'm just... I'm just going to see. So we need a 3, 4, a 5 by... I don't even remember how big it is. We need a pretty good sized chunk out of this wall though so we're gonna be mining for a minute i think it's a like i said 20 long and it's a good five or so high and then another five or so wide so it's a decent sized hole it's about yay big but 20 long and then it's going to be filled with a bunch of stuff so i will just check in whenever i'm done with specific tasks in here and I'll see everybody in just a few minutes. Alright guys, just doing a quick check-in. The uh, hole is here. My pickaxe is about to break, so I'm probably going to have to go on a mining expedition, which means the next little bit's probably going to take me a little bit. But uh, yeah, I will see everybody once I start getting the hoppers and the barrels and everything laid down. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back and I've got the first little part of it i decided to only do 10 because uh it was eating up way too much of my resources i don't even have an iron pickaxe anymore i got a new stone one so yeah um we're getting there slowly i'm not sure if this is going to work on my first try i hope it is um and as you can see me being a perfectionist as i am i encased it in cobblestone and even connected it to the smokestack even though the smokestack only has fire on the top, but, you know, I'm a perfectionist like that. So, I'm gonna keep going along and trying to do this, because I think I have to do the railing on top of here now. Actually, I gotta do the railing on this first. Which means I got that, 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 that. And then a bunch of powered rails over here. It's pretty easy to actually build this once you learn what you're doing though i mean it took me a good try or two but once i learned what i was doing pretty easy i gotta go get some more redstone i used most of it uh probably could just break those redstone blocks down there but uh it's not really worth it actually i should have just enough to finish with the redstone tracks that i have oh no you don't do that oh or did you go into the Give me that. You're not allowed to have that. And we're just gonna 
put you like that, and then another stone right there. That way the rail carts will bounce back. And then I just really have to do stone and then connect it down here to this. So you go here. And then we do another one that goes right here and then another one that goes right here. So it kind of comes down, 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 down. And then we do a bunch of powered ones all the way back home. And then it should just go right here. And then loop. Oopsie daisy. It's because that's why I had that one knocked out. I forgot. I forgot my own design. I'm a goof. You do that, that, then that, then that. And I'm one track short. So we're just going to do this instead because I really don't feel like making... No! You connect to that track. Ugh. This game is going to be the death of me. So we take that away. There we go. And then you connect to that one. And then we put a lever right here. And it'll power those, ideally. Might have to put some redstone above it, but... uh. It's coming along. I gotta go get some more resources and probably be back by the time we're done. So I'll see everybody in just a few minutes. All right, guys, we're back. Um, the furnace is done. I haven't done a test run yet. I had to come down into the mine to get our resources. Found some gold with the last of my second iron pickaxe that is now shattered. And I found some more iron so we can make another iron pickaxe. So I'm really happy about that because I don't like not having iron pickaxes. Just in case I find some more diamonds down there. So let's... Oh, I, need, I really need to put stairs in. Why have I not put stairs in yet? This is awful. This is awful. I hate my life. I need to put some stairs in. And why is that one block right there? Why do I do this to myself? Okay. So as you can see... We've got our input, so if you just take your whatever, gold and or iron, and then you take your fuel, then you do that, and you let it cycle a few times, because there's only 10 furnaces, so they can only take so much at a time. I'm pretty sure they're actually already empty. And as you can see, it starts smelting already, and then when they come back, Input's empty, fuel is empty, but our output has our stuff, and it was super fast. So, as much as I love my trusty auto smelter here, his days are numbered. It is, it is entirely numbered, because now we have a mass system of it, which means I can evenly distribute that 64 coal amongst my 10 different furnaces and then I could have had 11 I didn't even think to use this one it completely slipped my mind but yeah so that's our that's our super furnace I like it it was inspired by the same one that I gotta think of his name now he did one of the 100 day challenges in hardcore minecraft and then he did 200 days and I can't remember how many days. It's not Luke the Notable. It's another Minecraft YouTuber. But uh, he built a very similar one. He also did this, like, strange design where you uh, kind of... I wouldn't call it strange, but it's... He builds his stuff in, like, modular units. That way it all kind of blends together, and I really like that. So, uh, not to steal it, but I'm kind of going to steal a little bit of it. I'm an awful person and that's what I do. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do for today. I've been recording for about an hour and a half now trying to get all the resources and grind away for this stupid thing. So uh, thank you all for joining me. Probably next episode we'll do some fishing or something fun. I don't know. I'm going to work on the base a little off screen. I know base building can get really monotonous and some people just don't really care. So I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.